Actress Amber Heard was ordered to pay more than $10 million to her ex-husband Johnny Depp in compensation at the end of the highly publicized trial in June this year, when a jury claimed that she defamed the Pirates of the Caribbean star in a newspaper opinion piece published in 2018. Now it seems that the 36-year-old has changed her lawyers yet again in her attempt to force two insurance firms to pick up the bill for her libel payout to her former spouse. The actress is presently represented by David Axelrod and Jay Ward Brown in her appeal of the verdict. Kirk Passage, the new lawyer, was also hired by Amber on her legal team to get multiple insurance companies to cover her bills with a staggering value of $15 million. According to those close to her, Amber's expenses skyrocketed to $8 million prior to her trial. Her legal team now appears to seek homeowners insurance to cover those bills. So how will the cornered star juggle all these legal battles? Let's find out. The new legal battle Amber Heard has picked up concerns Travelers Commercial Insurance Company and New York Marine General Insurance Company. In July last year, New York Marine was sued by Travelers to gain reimbursement for half of what it spent on defending a client that turned out to be Amber. The actress's homeowner's policy with Travelers covered libel to the point of about 500000 while New York Marine had issued her a general liability policy for about $1 million. The decisive point of the suit was Travelers believing Amber had the right to pick her own lawyers, while New York Marine disagreed, believing the case was fairly straightforward. New York Marine's desire was agreed by a judge to use local cheaper attorneys. Travelers had doubts and argued that lawyers Timothy McAvoy and Sean Patrick Roche piggybacked on the work of Amber's attorneys, Roberta Kaplan and Elaine Bredehoft, after the New York Marine appointed them. New York Marine, for their part, claimed their attorneys were frozen out by Kaplan and Elaine. In exchange for their contribution to Amber's defense fund, they now want 621693 paid back as their lawyers were kept out of various legal proceedings. The Machete Kill star is currently sued by the insurers to avoid contributing to the libel settlement that the actor is set to pay Depp about $10.35 million using a California law preventing insurers from covering willful acts. Amber will be represented by Passage to try and deal with the situation on her behalf. Double jeopardy for the actress may find her accountable for the entire judgment if it survives her appeal, as travelers will try to avoid paying it if Depp could prove she made false statements. Depp was awarded $10 million to $15 million compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages at the end of the trial. A day after Amber's team appealed the Virginia verdict, Depp's team did the same to reverse the few million the actor owes his ex-wife. The Pirates of the Caribbean acting team said they are appealing to ensure all information is considered by the court as they come back to consider Amber's appeal. Before appealing, Amber's attorney asked the judge to annul the decision and declare a mistrial. It was argued that one of the jurors in the case should not have been eligible for the hearing because his subpoena was intended for his father, who had the same name and lived at the same address. Judge Penny Askrit rejected the request, claiming that there was no evidence of fraud or misconduct by the juror and that the jury's verdict should stand. As of right now, Amber Heard is still seeking her appeal. She also recently sold some property in Southern California for $1,050,000. It should be said that it's unclear whether she sold off the house for the sole purpose of banking cash for her fees. But that newly acquired cash may be invaluable if she does end up having to pay those millions of dollars to keep both Depp and the dissatisfied insurance companies happy. Remember, this information is based on theories and opinions and therefore shouldn't be considered facts. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye.